Hello and welcome. Today's story comes from Ware and Forest in Dorset. It happened in November 2016, so just a couple of weeks ago now. And it was told to me by a gentleman in the Facebook group that I'm a member of, British Bigfoot Research Team. Normally when I do the sightings I just type them out, but I have been asked on a number of occasions the last couple of weeks if I would do a voiceover. And you have Andy McGrath to thank for that. And he also has a Facebook page. It's um, Beast of Britain. It's a really good page. You should check it out. So now for the sighting. I'll tell you this in the witness's own words as he told them to me. I would like to tell you my experience at Ware and Forest at the weekend. I was in the middle of the wood and there was no one around except for myself, my wife and the dog. We were just having a walk. Just using up the weekend. I'm interested in the Finding Bigfoot show, so just for a lark, I did a long call, Bobo style, the long Ohio call. It echoed really far, but to our shock, within a minute or so of me doing this yell, we saw a dark figure in the bracken, about 60 yards away. As fast as it appeared, it also vanished. It freaked, freaked us out. And we are both still shocked. How did it hide or get away that quickly? We were at the high point on top of the hill, an area that they called the clump. And as we were walking down, heading to the main trail, that's when I decided to try to do the call, because there was nobody around except for us. I did not expect a reaction, but it echoed a lot through the valley, and with a minute of that call, just as we were approaching the main path, we noticed this dark figure heading towards us. It was about 60 yards into the thick bracken and was using the brush as cover. I could not make out clearly what it was. It did not look like a human, but it had that same shape. I didn't see any clothing, just one all dark figure. I'd say it was at least six foot tall and just so dark. It had broad shoulders I don't really know what to make of it, to be honest. And as I glanced again, it had disappeared. I do know of large cat attacks, uh, where cats have attacked livestock in the area, and reports of carcasses that have been left and found. But this was not cat-like in any way, and it wasn't on all fours. It was standing, and it walked away, upright on two legs. Well... I'm unsure what that couple saw that day, but they are not alone. There are so many witnesses out there, and hopefully in the coming weeks I'll be bringing them to you. Wareham Forest is in an interesting area. It's one of our ANOBs, areas of natural beauty, so there won't be anyone building there. There won't be much change in there. Quite a lot of cover, quite a lot of food sources, rivers and streams. Ideal, really, for anybody who wanted to hide away and remain elusive. Well, thank you for tuning in, and until next time, goodbye.